Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be reacting to episode eight of Free Rin, and I'm really excited to get back into this because we left off at quite a moment in the last episode. So the trio are in this new town and there are demons who are kind of like, I thought they were running the place, but they're here as peace emissaries in comparison to the likes of the demons in say demon slayer where they actually are given a more human side or you start to like understand their more human side especially at the end of their life the demons in this are just purely manipulative and will do anything to i guess get their end goal which is to kill humans i want to say free Rin has been imprisoned and she has been paid a visit by a demon that says that he is gonna kill her and we kind of left off like that but free Rin is a bad bitch i don't think she's gonna go down without a fight and um i'm excited to see if there's actually gonna be a fight or if she's just gonna be like okay and kind of ends him really quickly. I'm excited to see what happens. Also, it's like there's talk of her being imprisoned for a long period of time. And obviously Fern and Stark are in this town with her. So is she going to break out? I don't think they're going to be here for the whole time of her being in prison. But I guess we'll see. We'll just get into it. It's the fact that she just does not seem phased by the fact that he's like, yeah, I'm an executioner and I'm here to kill you. She's like, okay. Mm -hmm. This, this little, this demon guy maybe seems like a young little demon that doesn't really know what he's up against. And, um, it talks a lot at sock, I think. What is that? Again, she doesn't seem phased though. Oh, it's around her neck. <laughs> oh, wow. The like way that she can just keep a very level head when her, I mean, her life is like seconds from possibly ending. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's up against. Oh my God. Oh my god. <gasps> she just fucking cut his arm off. Like that. Oh, like it's nothing. I was like, is this going to be a fight? Is he going to put up much of a... Never mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out of there. Did he... He killed them, right? Oh, my God. Yeah. Shit. Oh, my God. I want a burger. <laughs> Did she just inhale her food? Because girl, same. And now I really want a burger. Oh. Baby. Oh. Oh, God. He was that shook up just by his presence. Poor baby. Oh, Stark. Oh, they inspire them. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Not handing it back to her. Sir, you just wiped your crotch the beer with the ew. 
Oh, it's still on his crotch. Really does look like he pissed himself. Yeah, because he got fucked up. It, oh my God, it's crazy that they just, they don't even, they're not even phased by each other dying. They're just so, they're like, oh, he's dead. Not even a connection to each other. His voice is so familiar. I'm going to have to look up who that voice actor is because his voice is beautiful. It kind of sounds like Sukuna from JJK. This guy's kind of... <laughs> oh, does he know? He's on to them. Oh my god, be careful. Be careful. Like, yeah, Freyrin can take them on, but this guy, Mr. Daddy here, I am a little bit feared for you, sir. Oh my god, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. Please don't do this. Oh Jesus, what is he doing? Huh? What is... He has power over his blood. Like a like like kind of like how that guy used the thread, the magic thread, but he just used his blood and fucking beheaded people with his blood. <laughs> or maybe it can take any kind of form. It sounds like metal. <gasps> what the hell? Oh no, this is what he wants. <gasps> oh my god. Yep. What, just let him suffer instead? I need to look up who that voice actor is. I feel like that's Sukuna's voice actor. He does voice Sukuna. I knew it. Oh, they're, they're gonna think, well, they don't think that it's her, like, because of the way that she surrendered, but now she is worried that she has to stay undercover because she's, it looks pretty bad. It looks pretty bad, considering the demons just kind of whoosh, into thin air when they die. I feel like Freerin wouldn't be telling them to fight these demons if she didn't believe that they could do it. I feel like she believes in them. She's seen like a little bit of their powers and she believes in Fern especially, like her powers so much. So I feel like she wouldn't be telling them to do this if she didn't believe in them. Oh, Stark. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Look, she's so proud of them. Oh? Is this by, like, the leader, Aura? Who would be observing? This is her? Oh my god, she looks so cool. <laughs> she did say she's stronger than her, though. <laughs> Was Fern walking on water just then? I mean, she probably can because of magic, but... <laughs> Leaving him to be soaked. She was definitely walking on water. Oh, wait, they are so cute, though. Like, he reached out his hand to her. They're so cute. Oh, 
Oh, so they all have specific powers. That's why maybe the other that's maybe why the other guy had like the magic thread and he has the blood. They ha they focus on one specific thing and then that that demon that they saw before, what was it? The killing spell was called like Zoltrak or something. So they just focus on this one thing and like perfecting it their whole lives. Whereas the likes of Freerin broadens their horizons. What is the best approach? Oh, so she put a, her flame put a barrier around this place. Wait, do we know why she did that? Oh, that's so pretty. I'm sure you do. I wonder why... I wonder why she put a barrier over this town specifically. I don't think... I don't remember, but I don't think that's been explained. Oh my god. Is it going to be a case of he would rather die than give up the secrets of how to control the barrier? I'm just, I'm so intrigued why this town and why they want to, why the demons themselves are also focusing on this town. What is the significance of this particular place? Oh, they snuck the whole way in here. Just that adventure, kid. What a good boy. Oh, he's shaking. Stop. Oh my god, he's gonna die. Okay. Don't die. You're too sexy. Ah. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh god, he's trembling so mad. He's not even looking at him. Like, is that like symbolic of he doesn't even matter? Like he doesn't even see him as a threat or anything because he's not even like acknowledging his existence. Oh my God. Oh my God, Stark. He can control his blood, though. He can do that. He can. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. She's here. She's here. Let's go. Oh, my God. They are working together. That's so cute. Oh. <gasps> what? Just like that? Hey, yo. <laughs> is he is he finished? Was that Zoltrak? Oh no. <gasps> oh, but it's ordinary now. This is the downside. And it was kind of touched upon in that in that other episode about that that spell. Like this is the downside of them focusing on one thing. Like the more that 
mages like Fern and Freerin hone their spells, it's like they can find ways to outdo it. And this is the downside. Like, how are these demons so smart, but so stupid about this? Like he's saying over half a century ago or half a century ago. It's like, yeah. So obviously magic is gonna improve in that time. It's weird that they don't think like that. Yeah, he's not dead though. I wonder if he's able to yeah. uh like regenerate, I guess. Oh. <gasps> he's able to track them as well. Oh. So why didn't it kill him? Is he just like that powerful that it didn't kill him? So a spell that was made by a demon to be a killing spell has been modified to be a demon killing spell now. So like, how do they not understand that this is how it can go? Well, maybe they're understanding now, but... Ooh, they fought before? They fought before. Mm. Does she have a whole army? Oh my god, she's gonna fight her. Freerin the Slayer? So are we gonna see a fight now between Aura and Freerin? It looks like she has like an army of dead guards or something. So that's gonna be interesting. And Freerin is pretty um, confident that she's stronger than Aura. So I'm like probably maybe gonna put up more of a fight than the guy in the prison cell did. But how much more of a fight? Is she going to put up? I hope that we see, I ho like as much as I think it's really cool to see Freer and just kick ass and just overcome things really quickly. It would be kind of cool to see more of what she can do and like more of a fight. So maybe that'll happen. Also, I think it's very interesting that that spell did not kill that guy, but he did say that it would have killed the girl. So maybe it is just how powerful he is. I don't know. What a great episode though. I hope that you enjoyed my reaction. I can't wait to watch more, but yeah, in the meantime, take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.